The following is a diagram of a Coolidge tube that is used to produce X-rays. One of the tubes has a tungsten filament F through which current is passed by means of a battery B. The filament on being heated emitted, emits thermionic electrons. Around the filament is a molybdenum cylinder C. The role of the molybdenum cylinder is to concentrate the electrons which are emitted by the filament in the form of a fine beam. Just in front of the filament is a copper block whose front surface is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the electron beam. On this surface, there is a target T that is made up of a metal of high atomic weight and high melting point like tungsten or molybdenum. The copper blocks, a block is fixed at one end of a hollow copper tube in which a stream of water flows. Now we come to the working of the Coolidge tube and how exactly it produces X-rays. Whenever the electrons are emitted from the filament when an alternating potential of about 2000 volt is applied between the end between the um, filament F and the target T by means of a step up transformer they obtain a very high speed and they strike the target T at this point x rays get emitted from this target T and the target becomes very hot only 0.2% of the energy of the electrons is utilized to produce x rays the rest is converted into heat if there is no provision to remove this heat, target will melt, as a result of which the water keeps the target cool by carrying away the heat from time to time. Also, electrons emitted from the filament strike the target only during one half of the alternating potential difference cycle, which means when the target is positive with respect to the filament. During the other half cycle, the target becomes negative, as a result of which electrons get repelled. That is why the tube acts as its own rectifier. During one half cycle, it attracts the electrons and generates heat. During the other half cycle, it repels them, giving time to the water to remove the heat and preventing the target from melting.